Hi everybody, welcome to Live Blogger. In this video, I'll show you how to add a code editor to your website. And we're going to use a library called ACS for this. So let's get started. Now this is the library that we're going to use. It is called ACS and this is the link. And here we can see that uh, this is a high performance code editor for the web. And if you scroll down, we can see that we have the features of this library displayed over here. You can take a look at this. Now if you take a look at embedding guide, here we can see how we can embed this code editor to your website. So here we need to create a division and we have to give it an ID and we have to get the same ID name and we have to pass it over here for the ace.edit method over here. And then we can set the theme and also the programming language. And there are a lot more options that you can use. And we also need to add some styling for the editor. So these are the things that we need to do to add this code editor to our website. All right, so here I opened up this folder called code editor in VS code. And let's create an HTML file. And I'll just name it index.html. And we'll also create a CSS file. I'll just name it style.css. And let's also create a JavaScript file. I'll just name it main.js. Let's start with the index.html file and in VS Code you have the shortcut where you can just press exclamation and press tab and you will have this basic HTML5 code. And let's link our CSS file over here so I'll just type link and press tab and in the href I'll just type style.css and let's also link our JavaScript file over here so I'll just type script colon src and press tab and let's type main.js over here. Right now let's go back to our design and uh, here we can see first we have this uh, heading over here. So let's create an h3 and we'll give it a class of question and uh, let's type the question over here I'll just copy this and paste it over here and let's open this in our browser so I have this extension called live server installed in VS code so once you install that you can just right click over here in the HTML and click on open with live server and here we can see that our heading is displayed now the next thing we need to do is we need to create a division and we need to give it some ID. So let's go back and first of all let's create a container division. So I'll just give it a class of editor container and in that I'll create a division and I'll just give it a class of editor and here we'll just add a comment. I'll just stop testing over here. Right now let's go back to our website and here we can see we have this text written over here. And the next thing we have to do is we have to get the link of ASJS library. So if you scroll down, we can see that we also have the option of loading it using CDN. So let's open one of these uh, CDN websites. I'll just open cdnjs.com. All right, so here we have the CDN of ASJS. Let's copy this link from here. And let's go back to our code editor. And here I'll just create a script tag. And in the SRC, I'll just paste the link. Right now let's add the CSS. So let's go to the style.css file and uh, first of all let's style the S3. So let's type S3 and uh, we have a class of question for that. And for the S3 I'll just set a font family of Roboto and sans serif. And uh, let's set the font size to 24 pixels. And uh, let's set the text align to center. And I'll also set the font weight to 100. So here we have the styling for the heading. Now let's style the code editor. So for the code editor we also have a container called editor container. So let's style that. Here I'll just type editor container. And let's set the width to 900 pixels. And let's set the height to 540 pixels. And I'll also bring it to the center so I'll just type margin. And 20 pixels for top and bottom and auto for left and right. And uh, we will position the editor relative to this editor container. So I'll just type position relative over here. And now let's style the editor. So I'll just type hash editor. And let's set the position to absolute. Let's set the left position to zero and the right position to zero and top to zero and also bottom to zero. We'll also set the height and the width to 100%. And let's set the font size to 20 pixels. Right now let's go back to our website and this is how it looks right now. Right now the last thing we need to do is add the JavaScript. So if you go back to our uh, ACE library website 
and if you go to how to guide here we can see there are multiple ways of adding several options so let's choose this one right here so here we need to type ace dot edit and the first argument we need to have is the element so the element is this division with an id of editor so let's first of all reference that here let's type let editor equals document dot query selector hash editor and let's pass that over here so i'll just type editor and the next one is an object so here we can set different options for the editor the first thing we will do is set the theme so i'll just type theme and we'll set the theme to cobalt so I'll just type ace forward slash theme forward slash cobalt and now let's go back to our website and now we can see here we have the code editor and we have the theme applied now the next thing we need to do is we need to set a programming language so right now if i just type const we can see that there is no syntax highlighting because the code editor does not know which language this is so for that we have to set a language so let's go back to our javascript and here we have to type mode and we have to set it to a language let's set it to javascript so let's type ace forward slash mode forward slash javascript and now if we go back and if i just type const we can see that we have syntax highlighting so now this code editor knows that we are writing javascript let's type something over here let's type heading equals document dot query selector heading so now we can see we have complete syntax highlighting for this code editor now there are a lot more options that you can add so if you go back to the asjs website and if you click on c configuration is wiki page here we can see all the available options are displayed over here you can just copy and paste these uh, options from here and just add the correct value so if it is a boolean you can just type true or false and if it says number you can just add a number and you also have options where you can select one of these three options so that's basically how you can add a code editor to your website i'll just change this uh, comment so here i'll just type program to reverse a string now you can also take a look at different themes in ace library so if you go back and uh, if you scroll down if you click on see all themes these are all the different themes so you can just get the name of this theme and add that over here in the mode all right so that's it for this video if you have any doubts you can ask in the comments below and if you like this video please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates thanks a lot for watching have a nice day